education. Education is an extremely important word. When I said education, a thought, an initial primary feeling went through your minds. What was that thought? Was it math, science, English? Let me ask another question. How many thought sports? How many thought physical education? Almost none. Do you think that sports are a part of education? Or do you think it's for the athletes, the professionals? It should be limited to a pastime or a hobby. Why shouldn't sports be a part of education? Did you know that only 2% of high schools in the United States offer physical activity every day or its equivalent? At Azar, we're lucky to share the same as that 2%. Conventional education includes sitting and schedules, classrooms and desks, because that's where people learn, right? What if I told you that you can learn as much, if not more, from sports than from a conventional education? There's a reason that colleges and universities look for sports on your applications, because they teach. Don't believe me? I used to procrastinate a lot. Homework and projects are motivated only by what I call LMP, or last minute panic. <laughs> when I joined my swim team, the Manta Rays, my evenings were taken away from me, now to be replaced with practice. I no longer had the leisure to do nothing all day and my work at the last second. I learned to do my work early, on time, and well. Looking back, I realized I stopped procrastinating just by joining the team. I also learned perseverance. When I submit a project or a test, I always think, is this my best work? Did I make the most of my time? And how can I improve? This thought process came from swimming. If I missed a time at a swim meet, I would always reflect on my race and see what was lacking. Was it my technique, my aggression, my stamina? This thought process of reflection applies to my studies and I go through this mental procedure every time I submit something important. I also learned resilience. If I'm stretched out and doing too many things, I learn to snap back to what matters and prioritize my work. Most importantly, I learned that not every effort results in victory and sometimes, victory can be achieved without a lot of effort. These are just small snapshots of how one sport helped me mentally. But what about physically? I learned to respect not only others, but myself, my body. Days were physically stressful, especially after an after-school sport and swim. I realized that my body was not getting the nutrition it needed on a daily basis. I started making better choices where ice cream was replaced with apples and cookies were replaced with protein. My body was getting the nutrition it needed now and I make those uh, daily choices on a habitual basis. I play a lot of sports, competitively, for fun, as a hobby. One of them is badminton. I realize that the more I play badminton, the better I get at shooting a basketball, at throwing a frisbee, and at serving a tennis ball. Because of playing badminton, my overall motor skills developed. This is how one sport not only helped me mentally, but it also helped, well, other sports. In fact, every professional athlete plays one supporting sport to build their muscles. Sports have taught me so much. The experiences that I've gained playing sports have built until I've processed my own perception of the world from them. Can you tell me now that sports are not an integral part of our education as children? Childhood obesity has tripled in the last 30 years. Tripled. If a child is exposed to sport at a young age, they play it, develop a passion for it, and grow at it. I assure you that childhood obesity 
wouldn't be half the problem that it is today. I want you to imagine a coin. That coin is on the ground, and you can only see one side of it. That side is a conventional education. Your job is to put that coin on its side so you can see the other side of it, which is sports. Sports teach as much as anything else, and it's about time that we acknowledge it. Thank you.